What's up guys, King Master here. Today I'm back with a new video. And I got some brand new Mage Red haul for you to review today. Some brand new models from 2021 and some new series. So these are three different sets we're gonna take a look today. The first one is this brand new construction series from Mage Red involving the Volvo license. It includes all new models from Volvo. And this is probably my favorite of this new series, which is this uh, Hauler A60H, which is a very realistic and nice quarry style dump truck. And looks like this guy has double moving features. I'm gonna take a look out of this package very soon. There's also, I believe, four other models or five other models available in this collection you can get them in single packs or in three packs uh, now the price tag on these these three packs are 597 and the single ones are 390 so I prefer to pick the um, three packs it costs less and you have actually three models so if you are a full collector you want a full series you should go for the three packs it will cost less at the end of the line so we have this nice container style truck on the top here for this first pack. We got the quarry uh, model here, a wheel loader, excuse me. And we have this uh, cement truck, which is quite a bit similar to the MAN TGX uh, cement mixer that, that they have in the uh, other construction series. And in this other pack, we have a, uh, uh, what you call this uh, excavator another one of these uh, dump truck and we have also a more road style dump truck here they all look pretty no nice and also you want to go big you can also get those semi trucks and this one is the FMX construction container again this is by Volvo this one's a three axle container truck you can also have this guy here with the Volvo construction equipment trailer and also features a very nice artwork on the side same cab and the third one is this guy here which is a flatbed with another one of these wheel loaders and a gray cab three axle second series is gonna be this brand new one I picked this up today at my local toy store it's the new limited edition. We have, uh, I believe, six models in this series. The first one is this very nice metallic blue F-150. You can see right here. In second, we have this Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon in the aqua style blue, which is also look pretty good. Cool. For you uh, GDM fanboys, we have this uh, GTR Nismo race car in a nice red with some nice racing tempos. Also have this uh, green Bentley. They all look very nice in this metallic color. We have this uh, Lamborghini Huracan Coupe next in a uh, lime gunmetal style green, which is cool. And the last one for us American car fan, we have this uh, Dodge Challenger SRT Alcat in a nice, like a browns orange. It looks pretty good. And finally, we have some new models from the mainline series, the premium cars. I got also two of these vintage series, the Renault 5 Turbo, which is look absolutely stunning. And we have also these two. From the city bus series which is a, this is i believe a new casting from majorette the man lion s coach l bus and this is the same model just came in two different colors we have this red one with some uh, traveling destinations on the side and a nice uh, red and white graphic and we have this guy here a gray uh, police version so of course all of these models are going to go out of the package in a second and we're going to take a look at them in a minute. 
All right, recycling bin is full. It's time to take a look at the models, loose and out of the package. So let's start with the cars here. First one is this F-150 in a nice blue. This one have the Raptor samples on the side. And it's kind of a bit reflective with this metallic paint. Some temples on the hood and four on the front. The small features in opening hood. Some funny wheels, however, for this model. Not the kind of wheel I would put on a pickup truck, but anyway. Also some nice temples on the back. And no paint on the bed. In this year, we have several paint variation of the F-150. We have this one in the racing car series. Raptor by Majorit. Bill Tough. And you can also have in the premium series, this matte black version, which is also pretty cool. It's kind of interesting that they actually put some uh, positional lights on the front grille of this model but not uh, actually they also did on this racing version but they did not they do it in this um, limited edition version so anyway so all black version for the premium series and last and not least we also have this um, gray one this one comes with a trailer caravan trailer all male in a two pack and I believe it have the same tempos as the uh, limited edition one, which is interesting. You can also have a yellow version with this kind of tempo work for this pickup truck. So anyway, that's the F-150. Now let's go ahead and look at the uh, Mercedes. This one also have an opening hood however it does not open a lot so you kind of have a hard time seeing under the hood the uh, v8 engine but otherwise it's a nice heavy model and uh, major did a great job in terms of proportion for this casting and also the f-150 have a towage uh, this mercedes also have one too if you want to tow some trailers. Now, supercar time with this Huracan. A nice, very bright green. This one has an opening hood because the engine is actually on the back of this thing. A bit of details, not much, but it's interesting. And this just looks beautiful. Not sure about the green stripes, however. I think we'll have looked better without it. But uh, anyway, still pretty cool. Now the big Dodge Challenger. This one has opening doors. Let's go on the driver's side. See the interior. Major did a great job on these interiors from the for the for the models. They are very detailed. And they are nothing comparable to the, uh, your mainline Hot Wheels or Matchbox car. And this one also has some inserts for headlights. Just like the Hurricane and the uh, Mercedes. And also some nice tempo works on the back for the tail lights, And some Dodge tempos on the side. And this one has a painted black hood. Uh, these are the old school style major wheels they are kind of outdated but uh, hopefully they will replace it soon with the new style of five spoke wheels because they look kind of cheap but that's my only complaint for this model and this car also has some side mirrors like pretty much all major models does have and i really never understood why the 164 scale manufacturers never put side mirrors on their cars i can understand in the case of hot wheels because they have you know, play sets and tracks, and the cars go to the boosters. But for a brand like Mage Bo Matchbox or Majorette, 
when they are focusing on the realism, I understand why some of their models don't have those side mirrors. But anyway, that's just me. So now let's go back to our, our sheep with this Bentley. And let's take a look at the interior. Which just look pretty nice. This one has some uh, simple red square for the taillights and a little emblem Bentley on the trunk. And uh, some nice details also on the front, like the inserts for the lights. So that's the Bentley. Now, I think the GTR is the only one left for the series. This one's pretty cool. Oops, a bit too close to the camera, can't focus. This one has some nice GT3 Nismo and also Mogul and Race on the, just behind the, uh, the door. Also some nice uh, temple works on the window, Nissan Nismo and on the grill and this uh, white checker flag. So overall pretty cool model. This one's also pretty nicely proportion so that's it for the limited edition cars now we're gonna jump into the uh, vintage cars this one's the Renault 5 turbo this is probably my favorite new casting for this year back in the day in Quebec these cars were everywhere this little Renault they were very popular among Quebecers and they were a very fun nice little car to drive around this one have a opening trunk there we go and also come with the uh, side roll bar in the back and uh, some nice work you can have this model in two different colors for this year uh, actually three version you can have this blue one clean you can have this red version clean and you can have another version red but with rust and dust on it dirty version i think they come in the actually a a gift pack like a rusty rusty vintage car or something like that you, can, you guys can check this out on the internet if you're interested into it now premium cars we have a recolor of this honda civic type r in a very bright lime green it looks kind of a bit funny but uh, some people will like it and this one has obviously an opening trunk and there will on the Civic next we have this now I'm not sure if this one was from last year or this year I might be confused for the prim cars because I I kind of mix back them in the my cases of a uh, majorette so if it's the case, just let me know in the comment section. Hopefully, this is not the case, but anyway. And anyway, this is the Austin Martin Vantage GT3, I believe. Yep. Nice casting. I like it. This one has opening doors. No roll bar and roll on the interior of this car. But a nicely detailed interior, of course. Inserts for the lights. And a nice power bench uh, spoiler in the back which is typical to the race cars also this one is the Mercedes AMG GTR I'm not sure again if this one is new from this year and last year hopefully it's from this year because uh, oof, that would kind of be funny to show the same models in the same two videos from Majorette but anyway and uh, this one's from this year this is the Camaro. This is a newer version, but with some weird body kit to it. I don't know what Major was taking when they did this casting. But uh, looks like they took some parts from different versions of this Camaro. I can see the front bumpers kind of bit looking from the ZL1. The uh, intake on the hood looks like a bit like the Coupo version. Uh, I have no idea, however, for these uh, front splitter. If you guys let me know where these come from, which version of the Camaro come from, let me know. This one also have some rivets on the uh, on the 
I don't know what you call them in English, but anyway, in French is hell or fenders. Oh, there you go, it's fenders. I just got my my order back. <laughs> but you got the rivet on the fenders on the front and the back, and they look quite a bit strange. This one I have opening doors. So once again, you can see interior. It's kind of bit difficult to see because it's an all black car. And this uh, fender looks even weirder in the back. Uh, I'm really not too sure about this casting. And the back just looks strange. Almost like a Lexus car, not even like a, looking like a Camaro. You have those uh, ugly looking uh, side or rear bumper on the back. So um, I'm not sure. I think the they should have gone with a more stock Camaro. Well, it looks better than looks like an aftermarket rise up version. But that's just my opinion. Here we go. Here we have a recolor of the Bentley. This one looks fantastic. I really like the simpleness of this car. Color, tempo work. This is the interior version for you. And also like the different grill compared to this one. This one looks more crisp and realistic. Now this one this is a new model for this year. This is the Peugeot 508 SW. And this one have the opening trunk in the back. Very nice proportion casting. And uh, Station Wagon Collector will actually really like it. I'm really sure of it. And we also have a Volvo V60 coming in the premium line for 2021. So hopefully I will get my hands on one of these cars also because this is a car I'm very looking for. Now for the last car we have this C7 Corvette. This is the regular version. I will explain in a second because there's two different versions you can get for this Corvette. This is the first one in gray with the uh, Grand Sport style blue tempos stripes on the hood in black. And if you are lucky, you can also get this gold version. I think these are like basic treasure hunt from Hot Wheels, but from Majorette. And they comes only one per box. And obviously, uh, this is a very, <laughs> very, very, very bright, and uh, you can't miss it, you know. But it's cool to have some chasing for Majorette. Now, the only problem with this car, since it's very shiny and chrome, it's very easy to get dirty. And uh, you can easily put your fingerprints all over a car, and it will look kind of a bit weird. So, you kind of have to wash it a little bit more than other cars with enamel paints. But anyway, so that's it for the uh, premium cars. Let's make some space here for these construction vehicles. But uh, let's take a look at these bosses first. Clean them up. So these are the MEN Lion Coach bus, brand new models from this year. And uh, if you are wondering, this is all die cast. There's no plastic in except the uh, the window pieces on these buses, so they are quite heavy. The base is plastic, but the body is metal. That's why it's important here to mention it. And I like these rims, they look quite realistic. And those mirrors on the sides, uh, on the front, excuse me. And this is the first version in red. And you can also have this one in the police version. So very nice buses, and they are most welcome in the collection. Now for the construction vehicles, let's take a look at these wheel the wheel first. Not, not much die cast on these models, however. I think the only die cast part is this one here, painted in gray and yellow. This is plastic. Uh, this is die cast actually, and this is plastic also. And these have two moving parts, the arm and the bucket. But you cannot move the front wheels like the, uh, the dump truck here. 
not much tempos on these models either. Volvo emblem and the red for the uh, tail lights. But that's pretty much it. They are quite light, but as far as for play value, they are interesting models to get. So this one back here. Now we have this excavator. This one has multiple moving parts. This is an um, um, amazing model, actually. The only problem is probably those skinny wheels under the base. But anyway, I guess they didn't have enough budget to put real treads on these models. But that's okay. But the, uh, the entire body is all metal, which is interesting. The, the arm, the bucket are plastic, and the base also plastic. But that's okay. And I actually like the details they put on this uh, exterior, like this protecto grill in the front here. And uh, also the details on the arm, which is pretty cool. And you can see also that the temples are different on each side. Anyway, that's the excavator. Now for these dumb trucks. These are all metal, which is pretty cool. They are quite a bit heavy. The bucket tilt and the cab can turn. So that's cool. The roof of this model is plastic. And you have a small chrome emblem from Volvo. And also co conserve the yellow and gray tin for the uh, Volvo pack. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So I bought two of these. If I ever want to do a diorama with the uh, quarry stuff or construction vehicles. Now, second dump truck. This one's more regular that you see on the road. This one's heavy. The base is metal. The cab is metal. And uh, the only thing plastic I think is the bucket. And it tilts like this. And the uh, things on the back open up. And uh, this one also has a hinge. So if you want to put a trout on the back, you can. Interesting. And uh, yeah. Pretty nice truck. You can also have two other different versions of the same cab. This one with the container that you can up and load. Same uh, details, except the uh, difference is the tools in the back. And you also have this uh, cement version. But uh, even though this is all plastic, the rest is pretty heavy. This is all metal, metal, metal. So it's got to be interesting that you have some nice quality for the price that you're paying for these models. So that's for the single pack model. Now for the semi. Gotta put this one away so this one doesn't move away it's showing up the trailer. So the first one is a, is a flatbed. Some details on the back of the ramp. You can of course move it up and down. This one's a three axle with some skirts. This is all plastic, of course, which is quite a bit usual for Majorette, except the uh, small metal part, which is the base here. And you have a cab. This one is in uh, silver and black. Single axle in the front and the back, which is common in Europe. In America, it's more like a tent. Next one, container truck. This one's a three axle again. And this one, you can uh, remove both of them. They are actually attached by these plastics uh, clip here. But anyway, if you want to take them out, you can. And you also have these movable legs here that you can put down. Just put a trailer. And this is the same cab as the other truck we saw. And the last one is this guy. Uh, this is the container. Door in the back does not open, but it, it's pretty cool. This is metal, and this is a different color for the cab in yellow. Same details at the other one. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a barn farming video coming soon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy collecting!